Um, I'm kind of used to talking to, um, I guess, artists and maybe philosophers, so this is an, a kind of strange audience for me. And, and I'm probably a strange speaker for you as well, so uh, I'll, I'll, start, I'll start with that. Uh, the door's just over there if anybody <laughs> needs to leave. Um, I, I, I wanted to, um, I guess, start by giving a little bit of uh, a kind of historic, or not really historic, but over the last 10 years, explain my uh, involvement with some open source software and then transitioning into open hardware uh, discussions with artists who who are who are not really makers, but they're kind of artists that are programmers or technologists, or they're interested in the relation between art and technology. So I guess um, that started in a in a in, in Huddersfield, which is a I don't know whether people know the region, but it's a a, a small or a, a kind of large town, I guess, just over the hill. Um, and I I worked at the university there at the time and in collaboration with, a, with an organization called the Media Center. Uh, and we, um, we managed to attract funding from the Arts Council and from the university, I guess, innovation sector fund. So just like the first speaker today, I can't see where Hannah is or whether she's still here. Yeah. Um, sim very similar territory to, to a kind of university uh, model of, of kind of maker spaces, but it was kind of pri prior to uh, many of them being named maker spaces. I'm, I'm talking about, um, I guess, at the start of this, it was around 1998 into, and I guess ended around 2008. So we managed to just about shut down at the point where, where the kind of escalation of these practices w was, was occurring. Um, never um, can I be accused of, of, of snatching or clutching defeat from the jaws of victory, but that, that's, 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 that's my history. So this, um, this project was um, by um, a kind of French collective, or an internationally operating collective of artists called Go to Ten, uh, very active in open source software, um, and they did a, a kind of fork of uh, a Linux, live Linux dist distro, um, I think it was built on top of one called Dynebolic, which was like a multimedia kind of platform. Um, you know, install it, get access to all of the all of the tools that you might need to be a media producer. And they were they were a kind of activist organisation um, about kind of taking control of the media um, and making your own media and making your own news and and, and so on. Pure Dyn was a was a fork that was more targeted at. Uh, kind of artists who are programmers, so very much in the kind of live sound and video territory. Um, I think that was around 2008, and it was around the same time that we were commissioning people to write about the relation, a kind of political relation between art, software, and society, I guess. Um, this goes a little bit further back. So this is around 2004. Um, these two, I think, I'd, I'd describe them both as, as, as kind of Finnish artists, but they're not. One of, one of them um, hails from Hull. Uh, so so uh, Dan on the, on the left-hand side here is from Hull, and Tuomo is, is from, from Finland. They're both currently living in, in Finland, but around uh, 2003, um, the, the organisation that I was part of, we, we hosted a series of residencies uh, for artists who were, who were kind of technologists to come and um, work with us for maybe three months at a time, sometimes, sometimes longer, so half a year uh, and so on. But, but Tuomo b became uh, someone that stayed with us and returned to us over, over a more extended period of time. And uh, one of the things that they he and Dan ended up working on was, it was this, this project, which is a, a kind of tile-based uh, toy, uh, like a puzzle-based um, set of uh, modules that you could uh, rearrange and arrange in different combinations. And you could kind of program uh, different kinds of puzzles. Um, you could hopefully kind of build these as kind of sound, in interactive kind of pieces. This was around 2000 and, um, I think between 2004, I'd say, and 2007, this was being prototyped. 
And the, I mean, the reason I'm talking to you about it now uh, isn't a kind of nostalgia. It's, it's, it's because it was, it was one of the earliest um, encounters that I had as, a, as, a, as someone who's maybe more of a cultural theorist uh, in, in the idea of open hardware. Um, so they, they were interested in, you know, in, in how and, and you know, w why they, they might kind of start to release this as through, an, through an open license. None of us had any experience or understanding of what that might be at the time, and they, they, were, they were simply wanting or looking at ways in which they could, they could use the, the kind of GPL and, and, and ways in which that might, that might be extendable you know, th to, to a har hardware, hardware system. Uh, this is just some prototyping images of this. Um, the kind of workshopping practices that, that, um, that we initiated involved, uh, you know, a factory's worth of, of students at the time, kind of building many, many tile toys um, once they got into a kind of operational mode. Um, and the other thing, I mean, I guess the more um, pertinent thing that I wanted to, to be able to talk about was, was the work that we're about to do in, Hem in Hempton Bridge in a couple of weeks' time with an artist called Martin Howes. Um, Martin's a, a kind of sound artist, but, but, but builds his own, his own hardware. He, uh, in fact, I, I have one in my pocket as long as I don't get out the, the speaker. This is, um, this is one of his, I'll, 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 you, you can pass it around. This is, this is, this is uh, it's called the Black Death Synthesizer. Um, and uh, it's, the, it's the first open hardware sound synthesizer with the plague inside it. So, so be kind of careful with it when you're passing it around. Um, it's something that Martin has, Martin has designed and, uh, and has had manufactured himself. Um, he's, he's a kind of interesting artist. He, this, is, this is his latest. Um, he started making quite a few of these things now. So he, this is a... Um, He's supposed to be here this week, so it would it would have made much more sense if he was here this week than in two weeks' time. But he he, he couldn't make it. This is um, this is a modular synthesizer that he's recently produced. Um, this has uh, I mean again it's a sort of viral um, plague like kind of idea that he has going on here. But it's there's there's kind of dirt and and I think if you if you go online and you wanted to order one of these, there are kind of discounts for, for, for different soil types. So it's particularly interested in, in the idea that you might get kind of soil from Whitby, you know, that being the place that Dracula kind of arrived you know, in, 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 in history. So, I mean, Martin is kind of interesting because he's both a, a kind of noise artist uh, and he's, he's very sort of, um, very kind of esoteric in, 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 in his practice. Uh, is is kind of deeply tec technical. So he, he he's uh, he's a brilliant Linux programmer, um, and yet at the same time um, he's interested in in the possibility of using the Earth as an operating system, and seeing whether he can kind of get 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 the Earth to kind of boot up one of one of his, one of his computers. So um, that's the work they'll be doing with us. So this is um, yeah this is the Black Death synthesizer. Um, I guess this is as close as I get to a circuit diagram. Uh, it says in and out. And, th and then there are various kind of, uh, various kind of filters that you, 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 you put the input source through, um, which are algorithms modelled on, 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 on the bubonic plague, which of course is also interesting because we don't really know, no one really knows what the bubonic plague and I was, so it's a simulation that in a sense I is, is built on top of a kind of fiction. So as much as his work is kind of rooted in, in kind of real electronics, uh, it's also tied to a kind of electro-mystical property of the Earth as an operating system, and it ties through to these sorts of areas where, I guess, facts can't really be trusted. They're kind of, you know, it's sort of betrays everything as a, a, everything factual as a kind of fiction. So I, I'm, I'm interested in, in how, how artists like that kind of work. Um, 
These are some other examples. This is, uh, I can't remember the name of this one, the, the, the sort of Mater Suspiria or something like this. This, this, this one's called the Dark Interpreter. Uh, and again, that's the, that's the Black Death. So there you are. Um, yes, yeah, so and Martin will be here um, in a couple of weeks' time. He'll be here for three days um, from the 9th to the 11th of October, um, working with us in the, in, th in the... There's a kind of new hacker space that um, a few of us... I mean, there's, there's three or four people in, in the room who are involved in, in, in trying to get that space to, to work. Called bridge rectifier. It's just along the canal. I don't know whether if anyone has any um, idea to kind of pop pop along at any, at any point. But we'll be around all, all, all of this week, I think. Um, yeah, that's. I mean, I guess that's all I wanted to say, really. I mean, I, the, it, it's an audience that I don't really know. You know, I, I'm kind of daunted by in in a, in a way. But I thought you might be. In, you might kind of at least appreciate that there were kind of artists um, who who were kind of in in the same territory as, as, as some of the projects that you might be, might be working in. Um, but, but there's a you know, sort of very different sort of language, I think, that he, he might be using to some of you. I don't know. Maybe if you meet him, you'll, you'll kind of find out. I don't know whether there are any questions, but I... I, I yeah, yeah that's, all, that's all I wanted to say. Yeah.